the state of this facility. I wonder why this place was abandoned in such haste. That's one of the launch towers used during the evacuation of the Earth. I can't even imagine the chaos.
visited worlds with temperatures this low before, <laughs> and it's never been a pleasant experience. like it was some type of crew preparation area. Probably the last step before boarding. Mm, it's definitely seen better days. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they've brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Look at all this structural damage. We need to be careful around here.
understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to bump helium-3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against the brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere on base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? They were clearly testing we're space going habitat to for activity in this area. Here. It seems as I if promise. they knew the inevitable was on the horizon.
appears we've found one of Vasco's long-lost relatives. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to find out. Project Log, Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the pro Project Log, Dr. Judith Petian. I watched the Gravjai test from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. If there's a way to I'm access the deeper sections of this storage area, of I'm certain we'll find it. Expeditions to Alpha Centauri and the so overwhelming and worrying. It could take years, decades, before we know what all these side effects of operating a crab drive can be. But no one wants to heal that right now. 
Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on I them. know what I'm thinking. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, what? The you probably already know up. the truth. And at the I was the young when time, I first headed the retrieval artifact. team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the ground drive. This artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. A few choice items.
I'll be counting the minutes to our next chat. Yeah.
any troubles, bye, love. Understand now why I asked you to come here. The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Every grav drive in the settled systems was built on technology that came from an artifact that was discovered on Mars. But these early drives shook the gravity field surrounding Earth. Eventually, the atmosphere started to slowly sputter away into space. That is why Earth is uninhabitable. The artifact gave the scientists a greater understanding of time and space, but not the wisdom to see where that would lead. The settled systems wouldn't exist without the artifacts, in other words. We owe what happened here in NASA a great debt. Though I normally a devotee of science, I have to admit that in this case, it failed us terribly. And the cost was immeasurable. Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. 
How many would have chosen Earth? What gave the Dereza the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That is why we watch over them. The only thing you are watching out for is yourself. Emissary, you claim that you'll keep the artifacts safe from those who would abuse it, but absolute power corrupts absolutely. Honestly, I don't believe either of you are immune to their allure. Join me, old friend. We can collect the final pieces together. Oh no, you don't. You're not his old friend, remember? You're from another universe. Don't try to manipulate him. Okay. I couldn't win you over on philosophy. How about pragmatism? I'm more powerful than the Emissary. ...than any other Starborn. And you might not understand why, but I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. <laughs>